Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Spectrum Analyzer in the EQ section on the Behringer Wing, how to turn it on and off and configure it. Uh, so let's dig in. Uh, I'm gonna to go to a channel here that has some audio coming in. This is my computer channel. On the home screen, you can see here, you know, it's the main screen and you can see the EQ, but you do not get any Spectrum Analyzer here. So we're gonna click on EQ to make this bigger. So. I think this is how the wing is default out of the box. I honestly can't remember. You're, you're going to get the EQ here at the bottom, and then you're going to get the spectrum analyzer at the top. Sometimes, you know, it may just be blank. You may not see anything there. If there's no audio source, you're not going to see it definitely. And if it's set too low, you're not going to see it. So some people don't even realize it's there at first. And it also could be set to off. So maybe that is, is gone, and I'll illustrate that in a second. So... Uh, it's a little confusing sometimes to figure out how to get that setting changed. So let's dig in. So the way this works is it's showing you uh, the spectrum analyzation of that audio that's coming in. It's going to give you the, the, um, the gain of each frequency that it can read. Currently, it's set too low. I can't see very much of it. Um, so a lot of people like to overlay it, and it might be off, and you might not even know this feature is there. So it's it's all under settings in this window. So we're going to go to settings, and then down here where it says size mode, size slash mode, it's not labeled very well. It took me a while to figure this out. So it's currently at a quarter. So that means that this block is taking a quarter of the EQ screen, okay? So if we go back to settings, and I change this to half, you'll see this illustrated and hit close. Now, the spectrum analyzer is taking half of the window and the EQ is taking half of the window, okay? If I were to turn this off, which maybe you're seeing, you only see the EQ and you get no spectrum analyzation at all. Now, the best way I think to use this is actually it has this overlay feature, so you don't lose any of your screen. You get the full EQ and it, and it pops it in there. So if you go to settings, size mode is currently off. I'm gonna change this to overlay, uh, it's got an overlay divided by three and an overlay. So we're just going to go ahead and pick overlay, which is the OVL. Now you see the spectrum is built right into the EQ, which I feel like this is the best way to run it. You get the best use of your screen and you can see it. So sometimes this is confusing on how to get this on and off. Um, you get the fixed gain. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that up to illustrate. So I'm going to go way high to 38. And now you can see... Uh, that's where you get, you know, you can set that gain level and it brings it up or down to see more of that spectrum. So if we put this more towards a normal level here. All right, so now we can kind of see the full spectrum of what you would expect from that analyzer and it's overlaid over the EQ. So it kind of shows you where your audio might be peaking, which is a starting point uh, to maybe where to adjust your EQ. If, if everything's pretty equal and you're getting just major peaks at 2K. You can go into your EQ, you can notch out 2K a little bit, and it should get your audio sounding better. So this isn't meant to be an EQ course necessarily in this moment. I just wanna show you how to use that spectrum analyzer, get it on and off, and uh, do the settings um, here on the wing. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.